I'm Philip Greenwood. I'm here to talk about the record Cornet Herald Lathe. This is my main lathe for working on each day and also for teaching on. As a professional turner, I need a lathe I can rely on and which will cover all my needs. The motor is powerful, quiet, and variable speed. So, an incredible lathe for the price. It can handle small items as well as large items. 14 inches over bed as standard and with the optional outrigger, even larger diameters. Swiveling headstock makes it exceedingly easy for a left-handed turner to turn the inside of a ball out. I've had it since 2018 and I can't see I'll ever change it as it does everything I require for my lathe. Hello, I'm John Clothier and I'm an artistic wood turner that's known for making some things like the ones you see behind me here. When I choose a lathe, it's important to me to make sure that the lathe that I choose is of a high quality standard and also very reliable. This is why I chose the Coronet Herald. The build quality of the Coronet is absolutely outstanding. Cast iron solid bed that is really stable, which means that I can use all kinds of a manner of jigs and what have you with it and know that I'm gonna have a solid bed to start with. It's also incredibly reliable. Fantastic uh, power from the motor and it's incredibly accurate as well. When you're doing some of the artistic things, it's important to have those qualities in order to make sure that you're able to produce your work to the highest standard. And with the Coronet Herald, that's exactly what I can do. My name is Andrew Hall and I am a professional wood turner from Weirdale, County Durham in England. And I've had the opportunity now to work with the Record Herald for quite some time. I've done demonstrating with it, I've taught with it, I've demonstrated throughout the UK at wood turning clubs, wood turning shows. I've also demonstrated in Europe. And for the baby of the bunch, it sure packs a punch. In my opinion, the Hurdle is the best value laid for the thousand pound market. I've worked with the Hurdle since it first became available and comparing it to the other lathes in that price range, for me, it's always gonna come out on top. The Record Power Coronet Herald has been ideal for my teaching. The simplicity of design and the intuitive controls make it ideal for my beginners' courses. G'day, Theo the Woodturner here. Welcome to my workshop. Today I'm going to tell you what I love about the Coronet Herald, particularly when it comes to demonstrating woodturning. Now I've owned this little baby for about three years and I've taken her to uh, all the wood shows, uh, the timber tools and artisan shows, they run for three days. I, I demonstrate from 10 in the morning till four in the afternoon, usually with about a, a 30 minute break. And I make five different projects going from the wee wee tiny little goblets, mini, mini goblets to large platters and burl winged bowls. So it's done everything that I've needed it to do. Um, so I've been to Brisbane, Sydney, Canberra and Melbourne um, and back uh, uh, three times with this little baby and it works, she works a treat. The, uh, what I love about it can be dismantled fairly easily and put in my big box and then I can reassemble it and she's good to go. Everything just fits back absolutely perfectly. Got a really nice spread of the feet. Uh, which makes the lathe really stable and uh, just makes it easier to turn. Anything you can do to reduce any sort of vibration will make you a better turner overnight. The head stock is nice and solid and uh, the, what I like is the diversity of the speed settings. You now we've got three different uh, belt settings and it's driven by a V-belt which gives you plenty of plenty of torque when the going gets tough with the bigger out of balance burls and uh, I love this little emergency stop where I can be holding onto a delicate piece and just bump it with my elbow and stop the lathe. Of course you can turn it off there and it's also got an off switch right there. It has reverse, never needed to use it. There's a reset switch, never needed to use it. Um, but the, vari the variability of the speed and the particular settings the, the record power I've set for each uh, belt setting is just absolutely perfect. Um, so when I'm turning something really big and tough, I think the maximum is around about 1200 revs. Don't need to go any further. So you can't accidentally t 
turn the lathe up too fast, which is not what you want to do. So again, from a demonstrator's perspective, really, really easy to demonstrate with. It also has an indexing system, and I like the fact that uh, the indexer is right here, so easy to just click in and lock in. Now, there is a little window just here. There it is there, uh, but the audience can't see that. What I like, from, like I say, from a demonstrator's perspective, is you can just open up this, and the audience with my overhead camera can, can read. So if I want to set it on 24, I can just set it to there and the audience can read the settings. Uh, and I go, righto, I just want to move it, uh, you know, six to number six, and I'll just go to number six, and there it is there, and lock her in, and that's how I drill holes using the indexer. So it's fabulous that I can just expose that, the numbering, um, and while I'm demonstrating. My measurement for, for lays is, can it turn a drumstick? And there are some, some lathes that you buy, they're probably, uh, you know, 12, 12 inches um, swing, um, but, but they can't turn a drumstick. This one will do it easily. Um, and again, the fact that it's not just 12, it's 14. Because if you've got a 12 inch swing, you can't turn a 12 inch bowl. You've got to cut the blank down slightly smaller than 12, and then you've got to turn it down as well. But with 14 inches, you can turn a, a reasonable size platter for a demonstration piece so people get the essence of what you're doing. Now, the real bonus with this lathe, and I've got to tell you, I own six lathes, but this is the only lathe I have with a pivoting head, and in it really, really is so much easier. There's no downtime when I want to hollow something. All I do is drop that in there, give it a little bit of a nudge, tilt it and then I can go in, I can bring the tool rest over and I can hollow it. There's no mucking around trying to take the tool rest out, taking out the drive centre and then when I'm finished it's just a matter of loosening it back up and bringing it back, locking it in and it always goes back exactly. There are several click positions so for me the real bonus with this lathe is the pivoting head. It just makes life so much easier. And uh, guess what? So much more enjoyable. But one of the things, if you're demonstrating and you go to a club and they've got a lathe that's different to yours, it really, really can be challenging. It's like driving a racing car um, that you've never driven before. Um, whereas if you can take your own lathe, particularly this one, the portability of it, but then again, the stability of it, absolutely fantastic. I'll take it anywhere with me and, uh, and really enjoy using it. And I hope my audience gets the, the most uh, enjoyment out of it because like I say, my ease of use and uh, being familiar with the lathe just makes it easier. So there you have it. That's what I love about the Coronet Herald, particularly from a demonstrator's point of view.